like flying art. The connection people feel to them, it, it goes back to, you know, hundreds of years ago. And in, in certain parts of the world, people look at it as their ancestors visiting them um, and coming back and saying hello. But I think for a lot of people it's spiritual. I think it's a very healing thing. Nature is healing. And I think the education of watching Metamorphosis is fascinating for pretty much anyone, child or, or adult child, you know. Everybody loves to watch that process. Why are butterflies important? Butter they're pollinators, essentially. Pollinators are really important to wildlife. They're important to us. One in every third bite or more of our food is provided by pollination. So those are very critical to all the food webs, whether it's wildlife or humans. So it works its way on up the food web, and without it, we're gonna lose a lot of our food systems, and probably it's a lot more than a third. We're the only native nursery in Hillsborough County, so we are bringing plants from all over the state to, you know, for people to put in their yards here to help them put more Florida back into Florida. The landscaping that I see all around where you've got green cement lawns, uh, it is very frustrating to see. Uh, it doesn't provide any benefit to us or to wildlife. And our kids are closer to the ground. They play in the, in, in the grass and in, on ball fields and all kinds of places. And we want that to continue, but we can do this without all the chemicals that we're putting on the ground if we plant the native species that belong here. Native plants evolved here with the wildlife, and the wildlife needs the native plants to survive. And a lot of our species, we've heard about the bees and the monarchs, and the plight of these different indicator species. These indicator species are telling us there's something really wrong with our environment. And what's happened is when we scrape a piece of property to build something, we don't have a lot of uh, planning on what we could possibly keep. It just gets scraped raw, and what gets put back are exotic plants that really don't benefit our wildlife and our Florida ecosystem. Our native plants help with erosion, they help with runoff, um, and they just are here to really protect us in a lot of ways, especially our oaks and mangroves. With, we have these hurricanes, Florida's really susceptible to those, and they really stop things in their tracks and keep us safe. So it's really important for people to understand what all our native plants are here to do and how they, how they help us. So it's just really understanding what is growing before you pull that plant out. Try to get an identification of what it is before we just rip it out because you might be bringing in many more species than just the monarch. We have over 125 species in our area in Hillsborough County. We have great southern whites, we have uh, buckeyes, white peacocks, there's a, and, and our state butterfly, which we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of that butterfly becoming our state butterfly is a zebra longwing. So we have a lot of species that can be attracted. Gulf fritillary is another. There's just so many species that can be attracted to the gardens. Mm -hmm.